All right, good morning, everybody. We are taking a step back from fractions and decimals again. Getting back onto the geometry side. Welcome to Math Lesson 105. We're talking about symmetry and transformations. So to start off with, if a figure can be divided into mere images, what they mean by the same on both sides, it's said to have reflective symmetry. This word symmetry means that it's going to be the same on both sides. Maybe you've heard the adjective form symmetrical. That just means whatever you have on one side would be exactly the same as it is on the other side. And all regular polygons, that word regular means that they have all equal sides, have as many lines of symmetry as they have sides. If I have an example here of a regular equilateral triangle, there are three lines of reflective symmetry. I have the same if I cut a horizontal line right here. I also would have the same if I go from the vertex to the absolute middle of the opposing side, right? three lines of reflective symmetry. Or again, a regular pentagon has five lines of reflective symmetry. Basically, if a polygon is regular, all equal sides, it will have as many lines of symmetry as it has sides. Like a regular triangle with three sides would have three lines of symmetry. Or a square with four sides, four lines of symmetry. Hexagon with six sides, six lines of symmetry. A decagon, ten sides, ten lines of symmetry. If they are all equal sides. But sometimes you have shapes that aren't all equal sides. And you really have to think about folding the shape. Are the two sides going to line up? You got to visualize and make that picture in your mind. We have a line of vertical symmetry right here because I could fold it over and this side would go and line up with this side. I have a line of horizontal symmetry along here because if I folded it that way, this side would line up with the other side. But let's take a look, see if this rectangle would have diagonal symmetry. If I tried folding along the line from this corner to this corner, could you actually get these two sides to line up? Can you see it in your mind? I actually have a difficult time doing it. But truthfully, if you cut out a rectangle, you could not fold it diagonally and make the two sides line up. So this actually only would have two lines of symmetry. So let's start off right now. How many lines of reflective symmetry does this shape have? And you want to remember to go ahead and count the lines, not the actual number of pieces. So I don't think I could go and cut this horizontally and make it look the same, could I? I'm pretty sure this guy only has one line of symmetry. And I'm showing off my amblyopia right now. That's lazy eye. Get it right smack down in the middle. So how many lines of reflective symmetry does this have? Just one. I count the number of lines I could draw or cut or fold, not the number of pieces. Take a look at this guy again. How many lines of reflective symmetry does this shape have? Remember, we just got done talking about it. Some pieces don't have diagonal symmetry. So let's take a look. Since we can't go diagonally in all shapes, let's see and have a line of horizontal symmetry. And we'd probably also have a line of vertical symmetry, right? Let's check it out. So you would have 
two lines of reflective symmetry only, even though this is a four-sided shape, you could not fold diagonally on a rectangle. Check out this guy. How many lines of reflective symmetry does this square have? Well, let's go and set it up anyways. Hopefully you know you could take the shortcut and know that a square is a four-sided regular polygon, right? So we could start off to see if it has vertical symmetry, which it does. Let's see if it has horizontal symmetry. And that it does as well. We can also go diagonally since this is a regular polygon, right? I can go diagonally there. I could make that fold. I could fold it side to side along here. So this guy actually has four lines of reflective symmetry, right? Think about how you could fold the shape if the sides are going to match up. Check out this one, a little bit different, but think about how you could fold it. See if the pieces would actually match up. I kind of have really bad spatial skills, so it's kind of tougher for me to see sometimes. But you could actually fold the two sides right along there, and it will match up. Do you see it? You're probably better off than I am right now. Let's try another one. We could also go and fold it right along there, and the two sides would match up. Let's see. We should be able to know if we have vertical symmetry, and it appears we do. Let's try our last one right now, see if it has horizontal symmetry. And that it does. So how many lines of reflective symmetry does this shape have? It has a total of four lines of reflective symmetry. So besides having reflective symmetry, some polygons could also have what's called rotational symmetry. And the definition is a figure is considered to have rotational symmetry if it looks the same more than once during a full turn. So if I took this shape here and I started rotating it, does it ever look the same in a full 360 degrees? And that answer right now pretty much clearly is no. It does not have rotational symmetry. Let's try it again over here with this equilateral triangle. And we can start spinning it around, rotating it. And hey, that does pretty much look the same there, right? And it pretty much looks the same like that. So this equilateral triangle actually would have rotational symmetry because if you rotate it around, it's going to look the same. So check out this one. Which one of these letters has rotational symmetry? Can you just look at it and tell? Or do you have to start spinning the letters around and see? I don't think there's rotational symmetry on the M. Let's go ahead and check out the A. So spin it around. Does it look the same as you are rotating it. I don't think the A has rotational symmetry. Let's check out the T. Spin the T around. Nowhere in that 360 degrees did it look the same. Do you see it? It's the capital letter H. If you only go 180 degrees, it looks the same, right? So which one of these letters has rotational symmetry, it was the letter H. So do you remember transformations when we move figures on a plane by sliding, turning, or flipping them? We had it in an investigational lesson. If you slide a figure, it was called a translation. If you 
turn a figure, it was called a rotation, or if you flip a figure, it was called a reflection, right? This is all review. It should be found back on page 524 of your book. So we're going to start seeing some problems that look a little bit like this. Draw an image of the figure reflected across the horizontal line y equals 4. So the first thing we better figure out is what to make out of this sentence right here, the horizontal line y equals 4. Hopefully you remember horizontal means like the horizon left and right, correct? y equals 4. So I'm going to go along my y-axis. Here is 4 on the y-axis. And we got to think about this is where we're folding the paper in our brain or drawing the line. So we got to reflect this figure horizontally across it. What would it look like if we had to go and flip this figure? Because that's what a reflection is, right? I want to flip it upside down. And so if we folded the paper right along here, these two figures would line up perfectly, right? Do you see it in your mind? If this was the fold line, this would end up sitting perfectly on this because the tip of this triangle is one unit away the tip of this is one unit away. It is reflected across the horizontal line y equals 4. This is where you got to think you're going to fold the two pieces and they would line up perfectly. Let's try another one here. Draw an image of the figure reflected across the vertical line x equals 4. So a little bit different this time. We want a vertical line of x equals 4. So here's going to be where my fold line is. Think about that in your mind. x equals 4 is where your fold line is going to be, right? And so if I'm going to go and flip this so it's exactly the same, I think I'm going to be flipping this left and right, correct? So now let's take a look. What would it look like if it was lined up and reflected x equals 4? Do you see that? If you folded this in half, this triangle would sit perfectly on top of that triangle. You couldn't draw it over here because if this is the fold line, they wouldn't line up. You have one unit of space between the fold line and the triangle on the left side. So you must have one unit of space between the triangle and the fold line on the right side. Okay, that is the end. You might want to have your book out to help you out with the Socrative quiz, but I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of need for scratch paper today. And good luck. <laughs>